Hello everybody, so today so I'm going to talk about um, uh, two uh, works that uh, we have done uh, recently uh, and, uh, in, the, in order to contribute to the decoding of Magrané mode of binding and uh, its regulation in uh, uh, <clears throat> mammalian cells. So briefly, so macroRNA, as everybody knows, so the, this is the biogenesis scheme of the macroRNAs. So they are transcribed by the pol 2 uh, polymerase and uh, so into a primary uh, transcript, which are chopped uh, by uh, two sequential uh, enzymatic reactions. So one in the nucleus by uh, Drosha complex and the other one in the cytoplasm by Dyser complex into so a double-stranded uh, uh, mature form of macroRNAs, which is then uh, unfolded into a single-stranded uh, macroRNA sequence recruited by ego complex in order to target uh, um, RNAs in a, a sequence-specific fashion. So, and uh, overall, so the, the the output of the targeting of macroRNA to RNAs is the uh, silencing and the, the repression of a gene expression. So that is uh, so the targeting can be divided in uh, two processes. So one which is uh, reversible and the other one which is irre irreversible. So in the uh, reversible process, so the target RNA can uh, go back to the translation or the uh, the, the, the function if it's a, a non-coding RNA, while in the ir irreversible one is uh, doomed to be um, so, uh, removed from the cells by uh, degradation processes. So into, uh, in the irreversible step, so we have the, the, first of all the partial deadenylation of the target messenger RNA, in this case uh, by the, the recruitment uh, of the uh, deadenylation complex PAN, after this, so there will be so the maximal deadenylation and the, the translation block by the recruitment of the CCR4 knot complex and the DDX6, which uh, basically we draw so the, the interaction between the messenger RNAs to the CAP complex. And then, so for the irreversible step, so uh, once so the, the, the target RNA is totally deadenylated, uh, so the, the two different uh, enzymatic complexes can be uh, recruited. So it's the exon complex for a 3 to 5 decay process and the XRN1 a complex upon the, the capping of the target RNAs, which uh, will uh, degrade it, so the target messenger RNAs on the opposite direction. So this is more, uh, so this is uh, basically so the overall uh, knowledge about the uh, macroRNA mode of uh, action and the, the, the repression of uh, messenger RNAs. Uh, so now, uh, so recently, in the recent years, uh, we uh, decided to focus on the uh, mechanisms of uh, macroRNA binding activities, uh, known that uh, although its, uh, it's uh, macroRNAs are a molecules that have been known since uh, almost two decades, uh, still it's, 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 a, uh, it's a difficult task uh, as you, uh, if you work in the macroRNA field, uh, to find the, uh, to find the bona fide targets. Although, so there is the development of uh, uh, gold standard uh, um, in silico uh, programs uh, such as a target scan. And uh, um, more, uh, so in particular, so we decided to focus on uh, uh, three features of uh, macroRNA binding activity. So the first one is the sequence, uh, how so the sequence, the, 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 the primary structure of macroRNA, so the sequence of uh, uh, macroRNA can uh, determine uh, so a, a, a true uh, positive uh, rather than a false positive uh, target sequence. Uh, the sequence of the target RNA and the third uh, features of macroRNA binding is the sequence macroenvironment of uh, 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 of the target sequence. So in the first part of my talk, I will focus on the uh, first two features of the macroRNA binding activity. 
And in particular, so I will uh, tell you about our recent uh, publication in uh, nucleic acids research, uh, in which we developed a, a new uh, pipeline, uh, a new method basically to uh, identify a bona fide um, ego 2 clip, um, clip peak sequence from uh, so, uh, uh, different uh, bioinformatic processes. And by basically uh, proposing so as an innovative step, so the uh, peak uh, reproducibility of the uh, um, replicates for ego clip seek analysis. And then, so as a, in, in a, uh, and then, so we uh, we also developed a new uh, a new uh, algorithm in order to uh, uh, in, in order to uh, basically. Uh, stratify so the uh, different macroRNA binding, uh, macro binding uh, sites uh, identified by uh, different uh, prediction programs that we used. So in this work and uh, but also in other work in uh, in my team, so we uh, we use the extensively so the uh, the method of the ClipSeq and. Uh, so which is which has been uh, developed uh, more or less 10 years ago by Darnell's lab so the the, the principle of uh, this uh, this uh, this technology is very simple so uh, so there is the uh, first so this is uh, so this is this uh, technology has been uh, developed to, to study the direct interaction and the, the direct binding sites of RNA binding proteins and uh, by the uh, principle that UV cross link would uh, basically form a equivalent bound, bound between the protein and the RNAs. Based on uh, this um, physical uh, property of the UV cross link, so uh, any complex, including uh, so the risk complex, um, which uh, Argonaut proteins are. Uh, are part of, the, of it, so they can uh, immunoprecipitate it by uh, antibodies, and then uh, once immunoprecipitated, so the, it will be so a, a partial digestion of RNAs in order to uh, basically um, digest only the part that is not protected by the RNA or by the double-stranded RNA, because this digestion is a for a single-stranded RNA. And uh, so the so we the construct of the library and then the sequence uh, with uh, any high throughput sequence in uh, analysis, especially uh, Illumina technology for uh, small reads. And uh, so uh, in the in, in this paper, so we uh, focus also on the, the two different uh, features, as I said before. So the the, the primary structure, uh, primary sequence of the macroRNA, and uh, how so this primary sequence can uh, can be uh, used so to uh, identify the so uh, bona fide target sites. Uh, so we uh, interrogated. Uh, more than 10 uh, data clip, uh, clip seek data set from human and mouse species. And uh, we use, uh, as I said before, three different prediction programs. Here is the target scan, and we uh, clusterize so the all macroRNAs that have been detected by in this uh, 11 uh, clip seek data set and the, the mode of binding uh, interrogating so target scan as a prediction program. As uh, uh, you can see, by this, because of the this, uh, the, the, the bias of the algorithm of a target that is used by target scanner, so the, all of them uh, they uh, bind, so they uh, recognize a target sequence by using the uh, five prime uh, part of the um, macroRNA sequence, also called uh, seed sequence, for both human and mouse. Then we uh, clusterized. This, uh, uh, all of these macroRNAs, and we found that uh, for some of them, so there is also the central part that uh, can uh, contribute to the uh, formation of the heteroduplex between the macroRNAs and uh, uh, the target sequence. So target scan uh, uses an algorithm that is very stringent to the seed sequence. 
Uh, another um, prediction program, is, uh, which, which is well known and used, is Miranda. So uh, Miranda still uses so the, the seed sequence and, uh, as a part of the algorithm, but it's not that strict as a target scan. Indeed, for target scan, we found much less target binding sites compared to, um, to Miranda. And uh, for, for Miranda, Case, as you can see, so the central part uh, plays a much important role to find a, a target uh, sequence uh, compared to uh, target scan. And then we also uh, interrogate another um, program uh, that we uh, developed in, uh, in my team that is meant actually to find non-canonical binding sites. What, what are the non-canonical bandit sites? So they are the, this, uh, what, what they call uh, any bandit sites that is predicted or uh, uh, validated, which is not, uh, is beyond the seed sequence. So the, the seed sequence, which is the, the five prime part of the sequence, which is uh, well known to, 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 to play an important role to determine the binding activity of macroRNAs, and uh, uh, so uh, in this uh, program, actually, we uh, strive to find uh, if there are any, uh, binding, uh, any, any binding activity beyond the, the seed sequence. And as you can see, so we found also we found many of them uh, binding, especially for the human data sets uh, binding with the seed sequence. We also found that the central part of the macroRNA uh, sequence can play an important role this of the banding activity. This is still uh, in, in silico, but uh, is uh, for uh, all of, for these three uh, programs. So we use uh, sequences that were pre-selected by ClipSeq analysis. Therefore, uh, so they, they are, we are not interrogating the, the all uh, data, the, the, the all uh, three prime UTR sequence data set for human and mouse, but uh, uh, so the interrogation of the prediction program is restricted to the uh, sequence that was uh, found by the ego uh, ClipSeq analysis. So in conclusion, so we can uh, say that, the, uh, that this data so indicate that uh, for MIRB center, the predicted macroRNA model binding looks heterogeneous, while for target scan and Miranda, all macroRNAs mainly bind with the seed sequence, uh, therefore with a canonical model binding. These results are independent on the clustering methods uh, used. So, because when we cluster, so the model binding, so in with different uh, programs, we found the same, uh, the, the, the same, so the same macroRNAs cluster uh, uh, together in any prediction programs, and uh, for any uh, and the, the the two clustering programs that we used. Now, so we focus. Uh, now we, we 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 took a look also of the uh, the, the second features that uh, we wanted to explore in order to uh, improve so the prediction of a macroRNA binding uh, 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 activity and, and um, site. So is the uh, the feature on the target RNAs. So the target RNAs mainly three prime. Uh, uh, UTR indeed that can uh, so in one single uh, sequence uh, identified by ClipSeq analysis. So where uh, ego two uh, where uh, argonaut protein uh, proteins actually uh, bind. So we can uh, find uh, not only one specific one uh, binding site for macroRNAs, but uh, we can uh, find uh, macroRNAs so different species of macroRNAs that uh, can bind to the same. Uh, sequence or other uh, macroRNAs, the same or other species of macroRNAs that they can bind nearby, uh, and but they are all immunoprecipitated by argon 2 so we, we can uh, uh, define all of them in the same uh, binding units. Indeed, so uh, by uh, analyzing so the target RNA, we found that uh, so for some uh, Argonaut peak uh, sequence, we found one uh, unique binding state, uh, 
meaning that so one binding site can be bound by only one macroRNA present in the same data set or uh, uh, promiscuous binding states, so different uh, species of uh, different sequence of macroRNAs can bind to the same sequence. Multiple unique binding, uh, multiple unique binding sites, uh, or so uh, emiscellanos of uh, all of them uh, with uh, so binding units containing uh, unique binding sites, promiscuous and promiscuous binding sites. So in order to uh, integrate all of this uh, information about the sequence uh, of the bind of the, the primary sequence of macroRNAs and the uh, the features of the target uh, RNA um, in the same binding unit defined by ego to cli ego clip uh, seek uh, analysis um, ego to, ego to uh, uh, clip seek uh, peak. So we um, uh, explore so the, the following algorithm, uh, which uh, uh, is the uh, in order to uh, basically stratify the different banding sites or the different banding units uh, identified by the uh, clip seek analysis in the different data sets. Uh, so what is this uh, formula? So the uh, delta um, P, so is the degree of occupancy, so is the, is the score that uh, we, uh, we give to each peak, which, uh, which uh, each uh, identified peak. Uh, so the M is the number of macroRNA banding sites uh, present in the, in the considered peak. N is the number of macroRNAs that bind uh, the same binding size. So, in other words, is the uh, is the presence of or not the of uh, promiscuous binding sites. <coughs> so, E uh, uh, uppercase is the um, <coughs> binding energy. So, is the, the 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 minimum free energy. Uh, uh, calculated uh, for the uh, predicted heteroduplex uh, made by macroRNA and the target sequence. And, uh, and, and TI uh, represents so the characteristics of the uh, duplex structure, <coughs> mainly so if uh, uh, seed sequence is the mainly part of the macroRNA or not uh, involved in uh, this, uh, in, in, in the binding. And uh, uh, and the uh, other features uh, such as the presence of bulges, mismatches, uh, and etc. etc. So the features that are present in the uh, primary structure of the uh, of the, the, the sequence of macroRNA. And it, so this uh, so uh, the, uh, this basically uh, this degree of uh, occupancy is uh, calculated for all uh, predicted macroRNA binding sites found in the same binding unit defined again uh, uh, defined by the peak of argonaut uh, clip seek analysis. So using uh, this algorithm, so we. Uh, we uh, basically uh, stratified so the different peaks uh, identified by the different uh, macroRNA prediction programs, uh, namely Mirbisanter, so which is uh, for non-canonical, mainly non-canonical binding sites, Miranda for uh, canonical binding sites but uh, with uh, less stringency on the uh, seed sequence and target scan, which mainly consider only the seed sequence of the pre prediction binding sequence, of the binding target. And so in this plot, so we score, so we, we scored, so the, the degree of occupancy here, so the score uh, on the y axis and the number of binding sites on the x axis. And in order to find whether or not so this the, uh, the, the, the hierarchization or the certification of this uh, binding unit uh, would uh, trigger, so would uh, uh, select so the more um, 
the, the targets, uh, um, the target RNAs that uh, would be more uh, repressed by the uh, binding of macroRNAs. So we uh, divided so the degree of occupancy in uh, three levels. Uh, which is uh, so, and uh, we uh, predicted that uh, the the upper level, so the, the uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the four levels, and uh, and we uh, predicted that uh, the higher uh, degree of occupancy would uh, determine a higher uh, repression of the macro of the target uh, sequence. And uh, these uh, four levels, so they are uh, they are chosen by uh, distributing in equal and even. Uh, in an equal, in equal fashion, uh, the uh, bonding units uh, present in the different uh, for uh, for the different levels, meaning that we have the same bonding uh, units for level one, two, three, and four. And so we uh, so we um, by using uh, so RNA seq profiling, so we um, uh, we interrogated whether or not so uh, we explored uh, whether or not so higher level of uh, degree of occupancy, therefore the level four uh, would uh, um, trigger a more uh, repression of the all uh, target messenger RNAs found uh, in this level. Uh, so for Mir Bizanter, Miranda, and Target Scan, and especially for Mir 155 in a, a knockout mice, uh, in a T cells of uh, knockout mice. And uh, as you can see, so for uh, the, the three uh, predicted program, prediction program, we found that at the level four. Uh, as the uh, most considered uh, repression of the um, target uh, uh, of the uh, target RNAs, and uh, uh, in, in particular for Mir Bizanter, and uh, uh, for Miranda is still so the level four, but also the level one. We don't know yet why. While for the target scan, which is the gold standard in the prediction of a macroRNA binding activity, we found a huge uh, repression of, uh, of target messenger RNAs at the level four. Uh, therefore, uh, um, this would uh, uh, suggest that the, our algorithm and the degree of occupancy that we sought is actually um, a, is a, a way to, uh, to, to, to filter out uh, the, all, uh, macro and the, the all target messenger RNAs that would be predicted as a, as, as a uh, true positive, but actually they uh, they are not targeted in a way that uh, uh, they uh, are uh, repressed by the binding activity of, uh, of the macroRNA of, of interest. So in this case, a MIR-155. So uh, the conclusion of uh, these uh, two parts, so uh, we can say that uh, uh, in the interdependence, uh, there is an in the interdependence between uh, the macroRNA dependent down regulation and the high score of the degree of occupancy. Uh, for the binding properties of uh, uh, macroRNA RNA heteroduplexes uh, and the number of uh, closed macroRNA binding sites determine the degree of repression of the target RNAs. Therefore, so indeed, so we found that in the level four, we have much more uh, binding units with a different, with a multiple binding sites, while the level one was, uh, the level one and two was uh, mainly, uh, uh, mainly uh, characterized by the presence of uh, unique binding sites. Uh, so the saturation of binding sites targeted by multiple mac um, macroRNAs, promiscuous macroRNA binding sites, can, can, can explain oh, sorry, the relatively poor ability that, that the changes of a single macroRNA expression may modulate target repression. Indeed, so for uh, uh, macroRNAs such as 
LET7, which, which is a big family of macroRNAs containing different uh, species and the different sequences of uh, uh, macroRNA. When we interrogated so the RNA profiling by either knocking down or uh, overexpressing the macroRNA of, of, of the, the, the LET7, we found little uh, ability to trigger a, a down regulation of the target RNAs. And this, we think that it could be uh, explained by the saturation of the binding sites uh, because of the presence of different uh, um, species of macroRNAs, uh, which they, sh they probably share the same seed sequence, but they don't share the same, uh, the, 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 the exactly same uh, primary structure. And uh, finally, so the cooperation of macroRNA binding sites and the presence of promiscuous binding sites within each ego 2 peak would define so the macroRNA binding units to regulate the target, to regulate the target repression. So in other words, we think that one single binding site cannot, or one single, so the binding states made by a single macroRNA with a single macroRNA binding sites poorly downregulated the target sequence. Uh, while uh, so uh, pre the presence of uh, multiple bandy sites within a relative uh, dis uh, close distance uh, that uh, can be detected by the uh, the, the, the method of uh, ego argonaut eclipse seek analysis can uh, define a, a repression binding unit with the presence of a different binding sites and the presence of a different macroRNAs that can uh, uh, synergistically uh, work in order to uh, better downregulate uh, the uh, target RNA. And uh, so after this work, so we, uh, we have uh, different open questions in order to really uh, define uh, so the, the, the binding properties of a macroRNA mode of action. Um, namely, so is there any uh, repression synergy or uh, cooperation between the macroRNA multiple bindings. Binding. So, in other words, uh, is there a, uh, so is the is the difference between a cooperation, uh, so one plus one equal two, or a synergy one plus one equal three? Uh, in other words, uh, so the presence of a multiple binding side would uh, trigger a better and, uh, and higher down, uh, down regulation of the target RNA or just, uh, you know, a net uh, a not uh, repression uh, because of the presence of multiple binding sites. Uh, Always, if, so with the same with the uh, same question of a multiple the presence of multiple binding sites uh, are the so uh, we wanted so, so to uh, integrate uh, so the the the, um, the notion of the distance between uh, the uh, binding sites uh, detected in the same band argonaut binding unit. Uh, so, how the presence of a multiple macroRNA binding sites would promote canonical, non-canonical, I'm sorry, macroRNA RNA interactions. So, uh, so this is also something that we would like to explore to see whether or not so the presence of one non -can one canonical macroRNA binding sites in the in the binding uh, unit would uh, favorite so the presence of a. a a loose binding between a macroRNA and the target sequence uh, and allowing uh, therefore a non-canonical uh, interaction. And uh, of course, what are the biological relevance of multiple binding sites versus uh, unique and, the, and also the biological relevance of uh, promiscuous uh, binding sites and uh, probably in terms of uh, development and uh, evolution that will be uh, interesting to, to explore the presence of uh, this promiscuous uh, macroRNA binding site. And uh, so, I, uh, so, uh, so far, so I have been talking about the, the two first features that we focus on you know, that, that determine so the macroRNA binding activity in the cells or, or tissue. And now I would like to uh, show you some data that we have on the sequence macroenvironment of uh, for macroRNA binding sites.
And so uh, what is the sequence uh, uh, and macroenvironment is basically everything that is uh, present. Uh, so the all uh, cis, so the cis elements, uh, in other words, the sequence of the target RNAs that are not uh, so that are not actually uh, binding sites, but uh, they, they contain some features that they can uh, modulate so the binding activity of a macroRNA. Uh, and the uh, trans elements, which are uh, RNA binding proteins, that they can so bind to, to the cis elements in order to uh, modulate and uh, regulate in a, a dynamic fashion. So the macroRNA mode of binding, including in a, a normal or a pathological events of a cell physiology or a tissue physiology. For instance, so uh, a, a RNA binding protein can bind in a cis element in order to open up the, structure, the, the, the secondary structure of the target RNAs and allowing, therefore, the binding of a macroRNA. So in this case, so we have a binding activation or uh, a trans, another trans element can uh, so, uh, stop the binding of macroRNAs by, uh, for instance, uh, binding it in the same uh, sequence of the target, uh, target sequence for macroRNA or by closing uh, the, uh, the target sequence, uh, promoting the for a, a, a particular uh, secondary structure that is not single-stranded but double-stranded. Therefore, we have a binding repression. So these two uh, examples uh, have been uh, uh, showed uh, in the literature just for, uh, um, for uh, specific cases, uh, such as uh, so one particular target messenger RNA for one particular uh, macroRNAs and in one particular uh, biological process, uh, such as uh, pathology or uh, development. But uh, uh, what we wanted to uh, explore in the, in, in the work that I will tell you in, in a minute, uh, that uh, uh, this is a general rule for, uh, uh, for cells or tissue in order to modulate so the macroRNA binding uh, program and uh, therefore so the macroRNA dependent gene expression program uh, during uh, uh, different uh, biological processes, uh, such as uh, normal or pathological uh, events. And uh, this has been uh, so published a couple of years ago. Uh, so we started this, uh, uh, this uh, project by asking uh, ourselves a very uh, naive question. So we are biochemists as a background, so we we wanted to have a, like a simple question in order to so or start by simple question in order to get to uh, dig uh, deep into the uh, the fine and the complex uh, bio biology and the biochemistry of a gene expression control. So uh, we wanted just to have like a, a general view about the all uh, RNA binding or uh, or proteins that bind to air Argonauts in the uh, RNA dependent or uh, independent fashion. So we launched this uh, uh, proteomic uh, analysis by uh, immunoprecipitating, by uh, first of all, so either undigesting or digesting uh, with RNAs A, the, the, the sample, the cell, uh, the cell uh, extract then uh, uh, immunoprecipitating argonaut complex and uh, so using a, a semi-quantitative mass spec analysis in order to find so the, uh, the uh, protein interactors in uh, uh, RNA independent or independent fashion. So we found more or less uh, uh, 300 uh, different uh, proteins uh, that uh, can bind to argonaut complex uh, and uh, uh, by using bioinformatic uh, tools and analysis. Uh, so uh, we uh, defined uh, so the, the proteins uh, that, uh, that bind to argonaut in a uh, RNA independent fashion with uh, the, and the RNA uh, against uh, so the, those that uh, bind to argonaut with an RNA a dependent uh, fashion manner.
And uh, uh, so, uh, so since we wanted, so since uh, our question, our basic, our, our primary question was to, to to define whether or not so the the the, mac, the, the sequence of macro environment is a general rule uh, of uh, uh, macro RNA dependent gene expression program and the uh, binding activity. So we uh, wanted to focus on the. Uh, RNA binding proteins that are present uh, in the so that they um, interact with uh, argonaut complex, so macroRNA in a uh, RNA dependent fashion, and the, the most abundant one. So we decided to focus on so the uh, SAPQ was the most abundant one. However, so SAPQ belongs to the uh, protein family, uh, which uh, and share the different sequence uh, sequence. Uh, uh, similarities uh, and uh, in the same complex of uh, two other proteins, uh, NONO and the PSPC1. So, uh, to, so to, to make a long story short, so we uh, validated uh, so this uh, RNA depe uh, dependent interaction between uh, uh, SAPQ, PSPC1, and NONO and uh, macro and the macro -RNA complex here for uh, so a co-IP with uh, EGO2 and uh, here a RNA IP with uh, uh, so macroRNAs. So for instance, here yeah, let's have it. So it's important to notice that the, for instance, here for, for PSPC1, but it's also true for SAPQ and NONO. So when we immunoprecipitated this, one of these three proteins, we always detect an interaction with macroRNAs, but never with, with the precursor. Therefore, so we excluded that, that these three proteins can be involved in a macroRNA biogenesis. So what are these three proteins? So these three proteins belong to the uh, family of uh, Drosophila behavior human splicing. So they contain uh, two RNA recognition motif and one NOPS uh, motif, which is important so to uh, determine so uh, the uh, for the formation of the complex of these uh, proteins. Indeed, so these proteins are known to form these three proteins are known to form heterodimers or homodimers together, as you can see here at the the, uh, the bottom of my slide, and they are mainly localized in the nucleus. In, uh, in particular, so in the nuclear foci uh, bodies, uh, which are called the paraspecles, uh, and they uh, interact with the long non-coding RNA in it one. Uh, some uh, papers, uh, uh, scatter papers, show that uh, SAPQ or NONO can be also involved in the, uh, in, in the control of the transcription. So, uh, here, so since so since these proteins they form hetero, hetero or homodimers, we wanted to know whether or not so one of these proteins are important to uh, or all of them uh, are important to define so the binding the the interaction with uh, macroRNA complex. So we uh, individually knock down each of them, and then we performed a QIP analysis with EGO2, and we found basically that only when we knock down SAPQ here, so we uh, destroy the interaction with NONO, PSPC1, and of course SAPQ as well, because it is knocked down, uh, while when we knock down, while the, so the, the antibody can still immunoprecipitate, as you can see here, uh, argonaut. Uh, well, when we knock down, uh, for instance, a PSPC1, uh, so we don't destroy the interaction between SAPQ and Argonaut 2, uh, and either neither with NONO. And uh, when uh, we knock down the NONO, uh, the same, uh, so we uh, we don't we still have the interaction between macroRNA complex and SAPQ and the PSPC1. The same, so found also when uh, we uh, we perform the RNA IP analysis. And uh, as you can see, so here, so the, the, the whole uh, experiment that I will tell you now, so and uh, since the beginning, they are uh, performed in a different uh, cell types and cell lines, uh, human and mouse, in order so really to show that uh, this is a general uh, feature rule of, uh, and it's, it's a general mechanism of macroRNA mode of action and not uh, just specific of a specific cell type. 
So again, so when we knock down SAPQ, so we destroy the interaction between the mature macroRNA and the, the uh, and the, the PSP1 and Nono, and of course of uh, SAPQ, which is knocked down. However, when we knock down, so for instance, PSPC1, we destroy only the interaction with PSPC1, but not with SAPQ or Nono, and the same for for nono when we knock down nono so we we have no more interaction with mature uh, macro with nono but not with the cpq and the tsp one so this uh, would uh, so um, overall uh, this this uh, biochemical data uh, so uh, show that uh, scpq plays an important role in in order to define uh, so the interaction and the specificity of, of the interaction uh, rna dependent interaction uh, with uh, macroRNA complex uh, in a target messenger RNA. So SAPQ dictates uh, the uh, binding activity of the SAPQ complex and uh, also the interaction with macroRNAs. Uh, where this uh, interaction uh, occurs, so SAPQ, PSPC1 and NONO are mainly present in the nucleoplasm, while PSPC1 and while EGO uh, are present uh, in uh, both cytoplasm and nucleoplasm, but is known uh, to be uh, basic mo more uh, so in different cell lines is, is known or different cell types is known to be more present uh, in the cytoplasm. So, but uh, so there is a co-localization only in the nucleoplasm, and uh, for in some for some extent also in the chromatin. Uh, the same so for the immunofluorescence, uh, as you can see here for uh, SAPQ and the PSPC1. And uh, then, of course, uh, so in order to, so this data would uh, suggest so that the interaction uh, can occur only in the nucleoplasm. And uh, indeed, so when we perform the co-IP analysis, we found that in the interaction between SAPQ and uh, uh, so here, for instance, uh, so between SAPQ, PSP1 and NONO and the macroRNA complex uh, occurs indeed only in the nucleoplasm and not in the cytoplasm. So then, so uh, we use the, so then we want to know, so, okay, so, uh, uh, so far, so by uh, biochemical approaches, we found uh, that uh, a new uh, RNA dependent interactors of uh, uh, macroRNA complex, uh, which uh, interact with, uh, uh, which they interact in the nucleoplasm, specifically in the nucleoplasm, not in the in the cytoplasm and not in the chromatin. Uh, on the chromatin, uh, I didn't uh, show you this, but we have also data. You can uh, you can see them uh, in the publication. Uh, so uh, no interaction between uh, SPQ plus one and the macroRNA complex on the chromatin. So, uh, and SAPQ is the mainly, uh, mainly leader in, to uh, define so this interaction and the specificity of uh, the RNA dependent specificity of this interaction. So we wanted to know whether or not SAPQ would uh, interact uh, with a specific macroRNAs or uh, all of them. So we uh, perform RNA-IP analysis, RNA -IP analysis uh, and followed by small RNA-seq in order to um, basically uh, sequence all small RNAs present in this uh, cell line, it's a macrophage cell line. And we found that uh, so uh, almost all of them so interact with both argonaut and SAPQ proteins. Uh, however, so some of them, the 35, they, 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 they are found to be interacting only with Argonaut and not SAPQ. These 35, we found that they were mainly passenger strands, so they are uh, macroRNAs coming from the duplex RNA from the biogenesis, which are, which are eventually degraded, and they are not meant to uh, target uh, RNAs. This uh, interaction was validated uh, here, for instance, for the seven, and uh, again for the seven. Uh, but uh, the, the, again, in a, in a stem in a, in a system a stem cell system, uh, the, again we found that uh, interaction occurs in the in the for the mature, but not the precursor. 
Then we used so the, the clip seek analysis and then we did, we performed so SAPQ clip seek analysis and then we and the, uh, in the uh, and then we found that uh, uh, peaks are uh, pres are mainly present for argonauts and uh, are many present in the many colocalized SAP ego two and SAPQ peaks by uh, clip seek analysis mainly colocalized in the three parameter UTR. And uh, so we have, so at, at that point of the project, we had like the eclipse analysis for SAPQ for, um, and for um, uh, Argonaut. Uh, we have uh, so the eclipse analysis for Argonaut uh, with the over with uh, the uh, over expression of ma one macroRNA, in particular with the seven in a stem cell uh, uh, cell model, and uh, so uh, so we have we had also the RNA profiling uh, by in uh, by uh, overexpressing let's say uh, or knocking down. So we wanted so now know uh, whether or not uh, so uh, uh, SAPQ so the the, the absence of uh, SAPQ and when we knock down SAPQ uh, some so if the knockdown of it, SAPQ would uh, basically change the uh, binding activity of uh, argonaut protein uh, or uh, the binding activity of uh, the, the let seven uh, predicted uh, target size. And uh, so we found uh, basically that uh, uh, so when we knock down SAPQ, uh, so we found that, that uh, so this is so in the y axis is the, is the uh, decrease of uh, Argonaut, let's say, and peaks upon uh, SAPQ knockdown. So, uh, in other words, so we found that, that uh, when when SAPQ is knocked down, uh, we have a decrease of uh, uh, let seven and Argonaut binding activity on uh, target messenger on, on target sites on binding sites uh, only when SAPQ is binding nearby uh, Argonaut or let seven uh, binding sites. So within 250 50, uh, nucleotides and up to uh, 500, while when they bind very far away from each other and more than 500, so the absence of SAPQ does not change the binding activity of Argonaut in general and in particular of let 7 for this figure. And so this, uh, so this uh, um, the repression uh, of uh, this down regulation of the uh, binding activity of uh, uh, let 7 uh, would eventually trigger so the, the repression of the uh, binding sites uh, of the of the target messenger RNAs as you can see here so in red are the target messenger RNAs that are bound by let 7 in the uh, in, in a site control condition and uh, as you can see so they are down regulated uh, compared to the background while when we knock down uh, SAPQ so this binding this binding sites were uh, basically not no more available uh, for binding of let seven, as you can see, so they are here. These binding sites, and indeed, the rep and indeed, so we removed also the let seven dependent repression of uh, of them. So, uh, so, in order to dig more in, uh, deep inside, uh, so the the the, the mechanism, uh, so the model of. Uh, uh, modulation of SAPQ uh, toward uh, so the uh, macroRNA binding activity. So we focus on the clip seek analysis for SAPQ. And uh, uh, to make a long story short, we found that the peaks that we found in the three prime uh, uh, UTR for uh, SAPQ, they were um, much longer and, uh, uh, they, and they were also <coughs> much more uh, abundant. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so here, so here is the length of the peak found in a different genome, uh, in a different genome regions, and here is the uh, the distance between peaks. So uh, in the three prime uh, UTR we have uh, long peaks and uh, with uh, and close to each other, more close to each other. 
we also found that uh, SAPQ uh, preferentially binds it to uh, messenger RNAs containing a long three prime uh, UTR compared to uh, the, the old three prime UTR background data set. And uh, so uh, by um, interrogating uh, so the, the uh, different uh, um, uh, programs uh, uh, such as MIME or Homer, uh, so in order to find it, so the, the sequence binding, yes. uh, some uh, specific uh, uh, sequence of binding, uh, we found uh, two uh, binding motifs that were uh, pretty similar to each other, and uh, this binding motif were uh, 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 biochemically validated for SAP. And uh, here, so it's overall, uh, so uh, what what would be so a general output uh, of uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, regulation of uh, uh, macroRNA binding activity and uh, dependent gene expression control uh, by uh, SAPQ. So, for instance, so here in the in the stem cell uh, model, so we. Um, Induce so the, 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 the differentiation toward the neuron like uh, cells by uh, overexpressing the seven. Uh, and we interrogated this by doing a go term analysis. And this, uh, as you can see, so the uh, overexpressing the seven in red uh, would so determine so a general uh, overexpression of uh, genes that are involved in uh, neural. Uh, differentiation and uh, that this uh, uh, this was uh, blocked by the absence of uh, SAPQ, as you can see here. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, suggesting that uh, this uh, uh, this mechanism so uh, uh, of SAPQ dependent gene expression control of uh, uh, macroRNA binding activity would uh, uh, therefore play a biological role in uh, um, determining so in a, a promoting a specific macroRNA dependent gene expression program. And uh, so overall, we concluded that, uh, so we have, uh, we have uh, several uh, new uh, concepts to add to uh, macroRNA binding uh, activity and uh, to, to, to the macroRNA biology. Uh, so one that uh, um, uh, target messenger RNAs can uh, uh, can so uh, messenger RNAs can be targeted uh, not only in the cytoplasm but also in the nucleus in the nucleoplasm and uh, this was uh, indeed also validated by another another group in Florida uh, just uh, one year after we published our work uh, uh, providing also the uh, enzymatic uh, reaction that uh, would uh, be involved uh, so in the uh, macroRNA dependent uh, binding activity in the nucleoplasm. Uh, showing that the CCR4 not uh, one complex is involved in the uh, deadenylation of a target messenger RNAs in the, nucle in, in the nucleoplasm when they are targeted by uh, macroRNAs. Uh, for our side, so we found that uh, uh, so, gene so gene expression control mediated by macroRNA uh, can be uh, divided in uh, two kinds. Uh, one, so the target messenger RNA is containing short, short three prime UTR, uh, which, uh, which have a, a, an SAPQ independent macroRNA mode of action. And uh, the, the other one, which uh, so the, uh, contain so the three prime UTRs, uh, so the messenger RNA containing uh, long three prime UTRs, uh, they can be targeted by SAPQ and uh, coated, coating, uh, so which uh, SAPQ complex can uh, coat. So they target a three prime uh, uh, UTR in order to uh, expose uh, specific binding sites to the macroRNA binding activity. And therefore, so uh, promoting a specificity of the uh, target repression by uh, macroRNAs that starts so in the nucleoplasm and uh, finishes so in the in the cytoplasm. Which is important to know that when we blocked, so when we knock down SAPQ, we don't only promote so the 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 inhibition of the macroRNA dependent repression in the nucleoplasm, but also in the cytoplasm. 
suggesting that the SAPQ basically model the, uh, the, the secondary structure of the, uh, three, of the target uh, uh, three-prime UTR in the nucleoplasm, and by, by doing this, so uh, this uh, secondary structure is basically conserved during the export from the nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm. Suggesting that therefore an, imprint, an imprinting uh, mode of action of uh, RNA binding proteins in the nucleoplasm uh, in order to uh, basically uh, uh, define the, the, the secondary structure of uh, messenger RNAs and uh, therefore their fate uh, even in the cytoplasm, not only in the nucleoplasm. So uh, what we can conclude? So we can conclude that the cis and trans elements of a sequence around the RNA binding sites uh, play a global role to regulate the macroRNA targeting programs because we didn't find only uh, one specific macroRNAs and one specific target messenger RNAs that are involved in this in a, such a uh, such a mechanism, but uh, we really define uh, so a, a gene expression programs uh, which involve uh, which involves uh, a different uh, target sequence and uh, and uh, different uh, and uh, basically all macroRNAs and the uh, uh, subcellular uh, localization of a macroRNA machinery uh, provides additional levels of the complexity for macroRNA dependent gene expression control and uh, uh, so the open questions. Uh, for uh, this uh, second story are the following. Uh, how are mere risk sorted within the cells and uh, where do they encounter the first their targets? Uh, what is the specific contribution of each mere risk localized in different subcellular compartments? And uh, overall, what is the, the, the output at the uh, pathological or physiological level for uh, for the cells or the tissue. Uh, what are the enzymes involved in the nuclear macroRNA dependent degradation? This that was partially uh, so solved by this uh, group in Florida, uh, which published a molecular cell showing that the CCR4 not one complex is involved in this nuclear macroRNA dependent repression. And uh, uh, since SAPQ, PS1, and NONO are really uh, concentrated in the paraspecular, uh, we, uh, we would like to also explore uh, whether or not the paraspecular uh, could function as a P bodies for the cytoplasm. So, uh, a, a body where uh, the macroRNA dependent, the, the macroRNA activity and the, the binding to target the messenger RNAs occurs in this specific site. And this uh, just uh, to tell you that the macroRNAs uh, so are uh, very abundant uh, molecules in the cells, uh, and uh, uh, so and they can uh, basically find in all compartments, uh, virtually in all compartments, and uh, depending on, on where they they are found, um, they are found uh, basically they. Uh, Many groups show that uh, they can be involved in different uh, in, in different steps of a gene expression program. Uh, which can be specific for the mitochondrial, or they can also released in the exosome in order to 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 have a paracrine action function, or uh, involved in the, in the Golgi for uh, the, the the degradation or the turnover of macroRNAs, and uh, also some some groups also show that there are also few macroRNAs that can be also involved in the uh, transcriptional uh, uh, regulation. And so with, with this, so uh, I finish by uh, hopefully um, demonstrating and showing you that uh, still there are still many things to do about macroRNAs since they are considered uh, like a pretty uh, old, small, uh, small, small non-coding RNAs, but it still is unknown and uh, they can also and the new mechanisms of uh, gene expression control mediated by macroRNAs, they can uh, be more explored in order to uh, define uh, so, uh, several uh, conditions for uh, normal or uh, pathological events of cell physiology. And uh, so if you are interested, so 
and if you want to do a postdoc so in my team and you like so the subject uh, i welcome you and to apply to my team thank you very much oh, well, yeah.